Hi, I'm Elaine. I'm going to talk about operations on data using not exclusive or or and various other methods. So I'm going to give you examples using a pen. So I'm going to actually create them dynamically. For those who are not sure about binary, because that's what's going to be used, I recommend that you go to my website, look at the videos. And when you click on videos on computingtutor.com, you can visit my channel. That's an easy way to find my channel with my playlists, computer science, and you'll find a video on binary and hexadecimal. That should help you get started, hopefully. So back to the examples. I'm going to give you examples of, let me just put this on to draw. I'm going to give you examples of and, or, and exclusive or, as well as show you two uh, shifting and other operations on data. So we're going to be using binary and off we go. So I'm going to start with and. When you add two values together, say zero and one, you get a zero. When you add two values together, when you get where well, there's two ones, then you get a one. Both have to be true. When you add two zeros together, and you get a zero. So both must be true for the outcome to be one. Otherwise, it will be zero. They're, they're the rules for the AND operator. So I'm going to give another example of this now. So take any bit stream. So let's give an example of 0, 1, 1, 0. It doesn't really matter. I'm just picking any example. So let's pick 8 bytes there and and that with all the 1s on this side and all the zeros on this side. And you will see the effect of using the AND operator. It will effectively mask out certain values, it will get rid of them, it will unset them because putting zero with any value will turn it into a zero. So it just gets rid of those this data, leaving you with exactly what was there before. So it's effectively masked out or unset part of the data. And this is very useful, for example, with IP addressing, where you have a network mask. But it's very useful when you need to just look at specific bits in a bit stream. So I'm now going to do the OR operator. In the case of the OR, or operator, let's just have a couple of combinations here of two bits. All of the possible combinations that you can have on this. This is called a truth table. Now in the case of OR, both, uh, sorry, either must be true for the outcome to be true. So either. So in this case, neither are and therefore the outcome is false. One of these is true and therefore that's true. One of these is true and therefore that's true and both. So either or both. This is a truth table and that's the outcome. So let's take an, another example, a couple of bits here. I'll just randomly make a byte. So this is eight bit and eight bit byte and I will force some of these bits to become a one. So that would be quite handy if you needed to just make something into the opposite value where you were dealing with binary. So in this case, I want to force those to be these ones here to be a one. And by using or that will happen because in this case, they are now going to come out as a one and they will be the same. So I forced, I've changed the bits. That could be useful in terms of image processing if you wanted to change so black and white image very quickly, you can change the bits. So that's the OR operator. So one more example. So if we have this one and we OR it with this, the outcome of doing the OR operator is nothing there. And as one is set, one, as both are set, it's one, as nothing is set, zero, and again. So hopefully that gives you an example of the OR operator. And the next one is the not operator. The not operator is quite straightforward so that's where all of the bits are reversed so it's called the complement of the bits. So you simply take these bits and the not of them is 
to reverse them. And that's what knot is. A knot is used for doing the twos complement, which is how the computer stores negative values. So we've already gone through that and I'll just take you to an example of where you'll find that again. On my video playlist, you will see in the computer science area, data storage, and that will go through two's complement on storing negative values. So go back and refer to that if you're not sure about two's complement. So that's the not operator, it's just not what it was. I'm going to clear this and then I'll, I'll be back. The next one I'm going to do is exclusive or. Now the rules for this one, let me just put these values back. These are all the combinations of two bits. The exclusive or is where only one or the other can be set, but not both. So in the case of this, the exclusive or of these two bits is zero. In the case of this, it is one because one of them is set. Again, same here because one of them is set, but not here. So that's a zero because both of them are set. So exclusive or are one or the other, but not both. One or other on either side, but not both. So I'll just clear this example. All right, so exclusive or is either or the other can be set, but not both. So you can use this to flip bits. Let's take an example and we can use a set a mask where we want to change the bits over. In this case, we don't need to really do anything there, but if we want to flip that, we will use this mask and that will achieve that result. So if we use this mask, that can that will actually set this to zero, that to one, this to zero, that to one and they will all be set to zero and that one will be set to one. So that actually is changing the bits. So that's exclusive or. So other operations you can do on data. Let's have a look using binary, but in, this time I'm going to actually put the values above so you can do a bit of basic maths with this. I'm going to just pick up some random values here and set this so the answer that that's actually going to equal if we add it all up so 1 plus 4 plus 8 let's leave that as 0 I didn't want that to be set so 8 12 13 so 13 if we were to shift this left by 1 what we would end up with is moving all of these values by 1 what we'd end up with is 2 plus 8, which is 10, plus 16, 26. Can you see that a left shift has caused it to multiply by 2? So I'll do another example. Let me just erase this and you will see that a left shift will multiply by 2. We'll keep the numbers nice and simple so that you can see this easily. So we will have a 12, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we will left shift. So this one's nice and easy to work with. And in this case, we have, so this one is 14. And what we want to get is 28 because a left shift should multiply by 2. So 16 plus 8, 24 plus 4 is 28. And hopefully you can see that a left shift multiplies by 2. By 2, the original number. So left shift does multiplication. Brilliant. So what do you think a right shift does? Let's do a right shift and get rid of this one. And we will do a right shift. Let's take a slightly different number here. And this time we're going to do a right and tell you what, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff here because it's a bit too big to work with in my mind. So a right shift instead of a left shift will move everything over. 
and so the answer to this 16 plus 2 is 18 and what we have now is 9 what was that done clearly a right shift has divided the original number by 2 so that's shift right and shift left as you can see my final example is to take a series of bits and imagine that they're used for statuses, status indicators. So each bit can be checked individually. And what you might want to use is a variety of different masks. So your mask to check the third bit would be 0010000. zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. In the case of this, that would be the mask. So you would apply that. And if the outcome is true on the third bit, then because they would all be zero, because we use an and, so if we use and here, then everything will be zero other than the one that was set. So if that had been zero, then that would be zero and you would know that it was not set. But if that was a one, let me do this a bit tidier. If that was a one, then the outcome would be one. But a better way to do this is to first shift them along. So instead of having the mask with the third bit set, just have the mask as where the one's at the end at all all times and then and then shift by a certain number of bits to get the item where you want it. So what you would do is instead of using that mask that we have there shift them shift them along first so shift them along to get the third bit so if we want to look at the third bit that's what we want to see at this point then shift it along by two so move it to the first position by two so that sort of disappears off and then you have your one one zero zero but we we have the bit that we want here and then use the mask of zero 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 one and then the and operation on that will bring it back as a one if it was set to one otherwise i mean all of the others will be zeros because they're using we're using the and operator so that'll either be a one or a zero depending on what that value was there so this is either a zero or a one and if that's a zero then the outcome here will be zero otherwise the outcome will be one so that's shifting and using the and operator so my suggestion to you is to keep practicing with different examples, write some questions down on what you've learned, write yourself some little quizzes and then go back a few days later and check that you're still able to do it. I mean, we've covered and, or, XOR, not, and shift, and we've combined shift with and, and a couple of examples of why you might do this as well. So. Hopefully that's helped and that's all for now on this particular video. Thanks for watching.